Hey there, it's Dusty Thunder once again with another Reddit story for you. This one is from AITA and is titled, Am I the Askinoff for Asking My Daughter to Pay Me for Cooking for Her Wedding? I, 46 female, greatly enjoy cooking and baking. I've always told my kids if they had a small wedding, I'd be happy to provide the food as a wedding gift. My daughter Leslie is getting married soon. They're having 47 guests total, so I offered to cook per my longstanding offer and said I could do something like my peppered beef or jambalaya with some jalapeno cheesy biscuits. That sounds good. Leslie and her fiancé Will took me up on it and said they'd help buy ingredients. Leslie sent me some recipes a few days ago, and when I asked what they were for, she said they wanted to add one or two big pot dishes that weren't spicy so Will's family could have something to eat. I know that boy can't eat a pepper or most of my meals without getting red in the face, but I didn't think his whole family was like that. Leslie said it's because his father has ulcers and stomach problems, so Will's family was careful of how they ate while Will was growing up. I told Leslie I already told her about what I was cooking for her wedding, and she argued that I'm making it about me instead of listening to what the bride and groom want. I finally told her I'd cook the extra dishes, but if she's going to treat me like I'm a caterer, then I'll need her to pay me for all the extra prep and work. Leslie said that gifts are supposed to be what the person receiving them wants, and that she might as well hire a caterer if she's going to pay and hung up. I thought Leslie would cool down and come talk to me about how we'd handle this and reasonable payment for taking on the extra cooking, but my youngest told me when he went to visit Leslie, she and Will were talking with a catering company. Was I wrong to ask her to pay me for cooking? Uh, uh, okay, here, top comment here. You're the asshole if you are only willing to make a spicy dish. If you want to make, or that is the only thing you know how to make, a peppered beef or jambalaya offer to make it not spicy. Wanting to make sure food is edible and enjoyable for all guests is common courtesy. If you don't want to lord over judge people for not eating or liking spicy stuff, even if you don't think it's spicy, yeah, it makes you an asshole. And yes, being strict about what your gift is without consideration of the receiver is bad behavior. If I know a child needs a four-person car for their family and I offer to buy them a two-seater sports car, that would be a whole behavior. Truth. So uh, I thought about this while I was taking the world's longest pee. Um, I, I think this is where I'm at. I am at and everyone sucks here. Yes, OP is an asshole for being too rigid and, and for being defensive when they approached her about doing something different. Uh, Bride is an asshole here as well for not pre-communicating this need, she just sent her recipes. There wasn't a conversation first to be like, hey, would you mind if, or we're thinking we need to do this. Um, and in communicating it about it ahead of time, there was an assumption that she was just going to gift more with just sending recipes, right? I, that's where she screwed up. The assumption that she was going to gift more is an asshole thing. Worst case scenario here, I feel like bride reaching out and being like, hey, uh, we think we're going to need some not spicy stuff for Will's family here. Uh, are you willing to do some of that stuff? Or we can we can hire a caterer. We can outsource just that food and still have your food. Would you prefer that we hire someone else to do the non-spicy stuff? Or would you like to do that too? How hard was that? How hard was that? But but yeah, beer today. I I will cook as a gift. But they would already they had already defined what she was going to cook. I think the communication is where bride f***ed up here. I think I think her thought here, she did say something that that turned me a little sideways. A gift is supposed to be what the person receiving it wants. I don't think that's true. Also, I don't think that's really what she meant to say. I think the assumption that this gift was going to grow without pre-communication is where she turned into an asshole for me. And if if she had jumped in here and said, look, um, again, like I said, we we're going to need this extra stuff. We can do that somewhere else. But we we want to we would love for you to do it but we don't ask you to do too much. There's a delicate way to do that, especially if somebody is if if somebody is saving you a shit ton of money by doing something, I think you approach it very delicately, uh, very respectfully and graciously. And here, there was a shortcut and that shortcut costs some communication. For me, I know other people are going to feel differently here. It is the communication that turned this into an ESH for me. I understand people feel differently. It's just communication, poor communication all around. All around. They like spicy food and poor communication.